DJ Pro is an amazing DJ software no matter what device you use. And in this short video, I'm going to show you how to connect either a wired controller or a Bluetooth controller to any of these devices. And I'm also going to tell you which adapters you need, if any. And I'm going to start with the Android. So I have my Reloop buddy. This is a wired DJ controller with a really cool stand. So on this controller, there's a plug here. So I have that plugged in. And then now we get that USB-A. So we're just going to connect it into our adapter like this. So now we can connect USB-C. And there we go. Our controller is connected, ready to go. So it's super easy. With an Android device, you just have to plug it in. It's a little bit more finicky than the, the iPad or the iPhone I found. Like, I wasn't able to get my Newmark DJ to go to touch to work. But that's how you do it. You just have to plug it in. So now let's do a Bluetooth controller on an Android device. MIDI devices. And now Bluetooth mini devices, connect the Bluetooth controller, and then it's going to scan, and whatever controller is powered up, you'll see it down here. So we have the DJ control mix. Just wait for it to load. And there we go. Our Bluetooth device is connected, and we're ready to DJ just like that. Just keep in mind that now we're going to be getting the audio from our actual device. So you could use, you could use something like this that's going to plug into the USB-C plugs into the USB-C and then you could get your audio out of that but if you're going to want to pre-cue with headphones then you're going to need an adapter so most bluetooth controllers will come with the adapter then you're going to plug this in and then now you have your main audio and then you have your output split so you could DJ with headphones and that's going to be the same on all devices so that's android so now let's go to the ipad so with the iPad, it is going to be very similar because both of them are USB-C devices. So I already got this Bluetooth controller out here. So I'm just going to unplug it to disconnect it from the other one. Now it's plugged in, but it's not connected. For the iPad, it's uh, a lot quicker to connect it because we have this little symbol here. Bluetooth, connect Bluetooth controller, just like that. Just like that, it's connected. Our Bluetooth controller is ready to go. So now let's do a wired one. Here is our wired controller. So with the wired controller, we're going to use the adapter. So now we could plug it into our device. And just like that, instantly it turns on. And yes, you could use more than one controllers at the same time with, with DJ Pro. So if you could use like three wired controllers, depending on your adapter, or you could plug in as many Bluetooth controllers as you want. So now Bluetooth and non-Bluetooth are connected to the iPad. Next, let's do our phone. So with the phone is going to be different for the reason that it doesn't have USB-C, at least not yet. It is going to be this connection. So you're going to have to use one of these adapters. I'll leave links for it in the description of this video. So this one allows you to plug in a USB device. I think it's called a camera adapter. And then you could charge it with a regular iPhone charger over here, which is important because most iPhones aren't going to be powerful enough to power a wired controller. So let's do the wired one first. So with the wired controller, it's right here. We have a, we have this, and then we're going to need this adapter to plug it into our phone. So let's plug it in without it plugged into any power source. This accessory requires too much power. So the iPad has a bigger battery, and it can power it longer. It has enough power to get it powered up and going, but it, the phone has a smaller battery. So now what we're going to need to do is have it plugged in. So if you just had an adapter that didn't allow you to charge your phone, you wouldn't be able to DJ with this controller because there's not enough power. So now I plug the power in. Phone's charging. Not getting anything. Let's try plugging the whole thing in while it's charging. So it's charging. Plugged it in. Just like that. So have your charger plugged in. Plug in your adapter and then plug it into the controller. So if you do it the other way and try to do it without it plugged in, then it'll give you the same hassle that I just had. So just like that, we're DJing with our controller on our phone. Super easy, but it's even, even easier to use a Bluetooth controller. 
So now we have our Bluetooth controller, plug it in. Bluetooth controller is powered up, but it's not connected. We have the same button we got on our iPad for fast access. Press that button, connect the controller, find our controller, done. Just like that, our Bluetooth controller is connected. Just keep in mind that if you want to use the headphones, you're going to need a way to get your audio out of here. So you might be able to find one that has an audio jack, or you might have to use a Bluetooth speaker and adjust your style of DJing, but that's how you're going to DJ with the phone. Now, the last one that we're going to do is our MacBook. So our MacBook DJ Pro is on, ready to go. Now, the same, same thing as the iPad and the Android device, it's going to be USB-C, just like that. Our controller is plugged in to our MacBook. The cool thing is my MacBook still has an audio jack and I have two USB-Cs so you can connect multiple stuff to it. And now for Bluetooth, so it's plugged in, we're gonna go put our mouse up. We're gonna go to MIDI, connect the Bluetooth controller and it scans for it right there, connect. And now it is connected everything is good so that's all the devices connected to dj pro except one device and that is the apple watch check out this video to see if you could actually dj with the apple watch